Hey, hey, intrepid explorers of Harmonium. This is Harmonium 401, Guided Repairs. I'm Daniel Tucker, and you must be here because something's going wrong with your Harmonium. So I'm very sorry for that. Uh, but there are a few very common things that crop up with Harmonium from time to time. So uh, if it's one of these, then, then there is hope. You will be able to get through this. If you have a sticking key, or if you have a buzzing reed, or if you have a rattling sound, or a leak, then these videos might be able to help you diagnose and, uh, and repair what's going wrong. You know, sometimes, uh, just because music instruments have a lot of parts, and because they're delicate, things can go out of whack and just need a little bit of an adjustment. Also, uh, in our modern lives, we move around a lot, and so often people have their harmonium in the backseat of their car, going vroom, 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 as you drive around, or just picking up and putting it down a lot. You know, so little things can just go, go out of whack from time to time. Um, so why don't I show you what is in my harmonium repair kit? Now, if there are mega repairs, like, oh, I dropped my harmonium and it's in a thousand pieces on the floor, or like, <laughs> I accidentally hit it with a chainsaw and there's splinters of wood everywhere. Well, some repair situations are beyond repair and need replacing. Uh, if it's been left, I saw one harmonium that was left out in the rain. And, uh, and it still looked okay, but it sure didn't play okay. And that was because all the glue had, had gotten uh, rot, rotted, basically. All the leather pieces had uh, like kind of cracked and shriveled, and the wood had expanded, and some, some things are beyond repair. But hopefully that's not what's going on with, with your harmonium. Hopefully you just have a little something that needs repair. So if it's just something that needs repair, then really, I've just got five tools in my toolkit and things that you can have as well. The first, don't be alarmed, is a hammer. <laughs> we won't hit it too hard. The second is a flathead screwdriver. Some harmoniums have screws with Phillips head, but generally, it's just a flathead that you need. Third is a, is a mini screwdriver, also a flathead. If you don't have one of these, they're like $5 at any hardware store. Um, you can also get them in, in kits that are for uh, glasses. Although sometimes some of the ones that are for glasses screws are actually too small. Uh, often you can get for like $10 at a hardware store, you can get a pack of like six of these. That's from tiny all the way up to small. This is one of the middle ones. I have a piece of sandpaper. In case I need to sand the side of a key, I try not to have to do that but that's a last case option. I have some super glue and the all important piece of string. <laughs> that is a tool and I'll show you how that gets used later on. All right, so, uh, so first up, I'm gonna go into rattling sounds, how you would identify what rattling sound is going on and what you would do to fix it in the next video. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.